guys, I have the very last interview, but not least at all, because <laughs> I am very excited to have Rob Bushi, and he is the founder of GetStat. Yes. So tell me a little bit about your tools, first of all. Sure, what Stat does is we specialize in anything that happens on the SERP, right? So we deal with visibility, we deal with SERP features, we help people find opportunities there, especially around like featured snippets and other kind of SERP features. Oh, okay. So it's like an advanced position tracking tool, basically. Exactly. We call it SERP Analytics, and we just analyze everything that happens on the SERPs and help people find opportunities. Awesome. So uh, I have a question about Google, which mm -hmm. is related to your name. So what I've done, I've Googled actually your name, mm -hmm. and so I found a few very interesting images. I'll okay. show you. So, guys, <laughs> I have a question about this image. So well, that's embarrassing. It, yeah, that's called <laughs> Season's Greetings from Star. Yeah. So you have um, under, uh, yeah, yeah. under dealers, nose, which is like uh, the, the first case. Actually, I've had similar set, but I was maybe too shy or too drunk to do like, you know, a pic. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, the next one that oh, actually yeah. goes straight to the point because we are right now in the UK. <laughs> it's bright and so guys. So you just shift a little bit actually. You, yeah. you, you, you change your image. I got rid of the beard yeah. a little bit for that one. So tell me what the story behind. So there was two. a time when my marketing team really liked to embarrass me. And they like to embarrass <laughs> Challenge me. Challenge you. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, Rob, you need to do this. You're like, uh, uh, really? Yeah, and then I would say no, and they'd say, well, you hired us to do marketing, and this is what we want to do. So uh, they used to dress me up in funny costumes and then use that in our social media. Okay, so <laughs> they were like kind of trying to follow Ren Fishkin because I remember he was like using a caveman um, kind of Halloween. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He was, that was, I remember, that was one of his very good speeches actually. And he used his Halloween uh, pictures oh, uh, inside his slides. Very funny. I didn't know that. I once dressed up for Halloween as a cave businessman. <laughs> <laughs> How is it going to be? You're going to be dressed? Uh, I, had like a, I had like a spear and I called it my PowerPoint. And I had like a little rock that I called my tablet. And I had like a briefcase that was covered in fur. Yeah. <laughs> fur? Yeah. Oh, fake, fake, that looks so fake trendy. Fur. Trendy. <laughs> <laughs> what the real fashion looks like. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Um, but what about gets that? What's really like the role required that it, it, it like you know it allows you to track positions yeah. in Google? But what about unique features? Because we have tons of, course, of position trackers. Of yeah, I think the key thing about STAT and why a lot of the agencies who use us really like us is it's a high volume of really accurate data, right? Mm -hmm. So our clients track on a daily basis like 100,000 keywords or 50,000 keywords. And then the, the unique power of STAT is to put those into buckets and to segment them and then to measure and aggregate the performance across those segments. And that's where they found cool opportunities. So STAT's all about high quality data, very high volume, very affordable, and the segmentation on top of it. Oh, cool. Segmentation, so basically what I can do, like, you know, I've tried a few times Beautify, and what I love about, it, it's like, you know, I've used it for local analyzing. Mm -hmm. And so what I really enjoyed, that I can segment the whole website and see, like, you know, kind of weak spots yeah. by this. You can do the same, so you basically just, um, kind of select group of pages yeah. and say like this is like for instance strategic pages and you see like you know those ups uh, and downs in terms of rankings based on what kind of pages yeah they like are. people will notice various trends depending on how they comprise the set so like depending on what keywords are in the set the kind of things they can uncover are unique uh -huh. and stat allows this ability to make dynamic sets so I can say this set contains all keywords that have the ranking for the slash products page. And mm -hmm. as that changes every day, the set itself changes automatically. Ah. So I'm always able to sort of see what keywords are ranking there, what keywords are not ranking there, and how yeah. that's changing day by day. And then how my competitors are changing for those keywords as well. Ah, yeah, that sounds very neat. Yeah. So, and um, one thing that I'm really missing in all position tracking tools that I can't connect my Google Analytics. Mm -hmm. Because what I want to see, okay, I might have all those ups and downs, but they don't really affect my traffic. Yeah. 
So can you do it in YouTube? Not yet. It's something that we're very interested in doing though, yes. Yeah, well, it's like, you know, I, I think like, you know, from a extra perspective, I would say like tracking uh, your positions on a daily basis doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, like it shows something, but not necessarily. I prefer to look at it like, you know, weekly time range at, at least. The problem is, is that let's say, for example, traffic to a certain section of your website dries up, it disappears, and your boss mm. comes to you and says, what's happening? And you say, wait seven days and I'll tell you. No, no, I'm yeah. not telling you about not tracking on a daily basis in order to have data. Yeah. I'm talking about looking at it. Oh, really, yeah, like, yeah, like trying trend. to make sense. Like a lot of people like looking at this data and like, like for instance, yeah. today I've been like, you know, on that. Uh, uh, yesterday uh, my website was on that position and today on the, uh, what, what? I mean like, you know, it's yeah. like, it's always like all those like s tiny changes. Yeah, it yeah. It happens. And it makes people stressed out. So we don't really recommend that people go every single day and obsessively look, but we want them to have the daily data there for when problems happen, right? Yeah, that makes sense. There's Definitely. also these like, with like featured snippets, for example, you want to be able to detect the competitors that are also ranking for your snippet and tracking every single day lets you spot them, right? Yeah. If you're tracking once a week, then you might miss some of it. So I agree with you. Like I definitely don't want people like obsessing and stressing out over the daily changes, but I want them to have that ability in case they have to. So, but what about uh, like, you know, the most, I know I used to work at SEMrush, for instance, and though the top question that we, I believe I had been always receiving was about like, you know, about data accuracy because people um, tend to search for their websites. Yeah, of course. And that was kind of stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what kind of, uh, let's say like, not really like kind of embarrassing a way question you receive most commonly. Yeah, I, we, we have a reputation for the most accuracy. I think uh, that's why a lot of agencies use us and we pride ourselves first and foremost on being a data partner, right? Uh -huh. So it, it starts with the data. It doesn't start with the, the pretty charts or the graphs. <laughs> it starts with quality data and that's uh -huh. where we put a lot of our focus. I have seen a lot of people uh, ask, so I, I went to my grandmother's house and I googled it and it looks different <laughs> and usually it's just a case of education we help it's them understand like a lot of, yeah. yeah it's a lot of factor that actually like you well your previous searches yeah localization of, yeah. your browser you're using you know all that stuff so it's usually pretty easy to educate them and we put a lot of focus on that uh, that accuracy so we're usually pretty strong in being able to reply and say well here's what's happening mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Thank you, Rob. Thank oh. you for an amazing interview. My pleasure. Yeah, I hope yeah. to see more uh, stunning photos. I hope so too. <laughs> but I'm going to search your name. I have a surprise for you guys. I just do uh, Inception Marketing here. I have a small uh, gift from you from Akiranga. Ah. Ah, yes. lovely. Thank you. See you. All right. Okay. That was like... <laughs> That's very cheeky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was like kind of... Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye.